We're standing on the unceded territory and ancestral homelands of the Kumeyaay Nation, the indigenous peoples of this land. We acknowledge the heritage of this land and are gathered to honor their history, language, and culture. Today, we seek to uplift their enduring voice as it continues to guide our thoughts and actions on this land. Um, I plant the prickly pear, and uh, what you can do about the prickly pear, you can use it for um, eating the pads. It's yeah, and um, you can also eat the the fruit on it, but. First thing you have to do is take off all the spikes because it's pokey. Mm. And um, then you can cut it open and then scoop out like the fruit in there and then you, you can eat it. And then um, second, uh, you can take off the spikes and the spikes are used for um, tattoos. So yeah. This is zone 10B and the plants here thrive here. Not, any, not really anywhere else because we're close to the ocean so they really just grow better here than they would anywhere else. My plant was white sage and um, the way you use white sage is you pick the leaves off of the plant and you wrap them up in a bundle and then you dry them out and you can burn it as a cleanse, you can cleanse your body. Uh, my name is Henry, I'm from Lakeside. The plant I research the most is the California poppy. Some of its uses uh, include uh, pain relief. It can also be used to help with headaches and stomach problems. About a year and a half ago, I'd say, uh, the museum, a lot of the you know, teaching artists and the folks that work within the museum, we were trying to reach out to basically indigenous communities and create more meaningful relationships and collaborations. Our space we see more for the community. Um, we're not a collecting museum, we're not a traditional museum. Um, we like to make projects and art happen with our community. Because a lot of people that live in downtown don't know about the ethnobotanical uses for the native plants. And I think it's important for them to learn how they were used because there was something here before us and before everything.